Yo, what is going on guys? This is PH Community Game V2, and uh, today we're going to do a quick little, I guess, card discussion. We're going to talk about a couple cards. Uh, just some, uh, I guess, random cards that have, as of recent, just had random price spikes. Uh, some of them, I guess, have a pretty legitimate reason. Um, others, you know, I'm, I'm caught here scratching my head, but uh, yeah, I mean, let's, let's get started. Uh, World of Prophecy. Okay, so this thing, like, after, you know, there were a couple spellbook decks that, you know, they topped... Um, at Toronto, this thing was like 30 bucks, and it's just like, why? Why is this thing 30 bucks? It was just like, you know, eight, eight usually. I think it was sitting around eight or nine. Um, it was like 10 bucks, give or take. Um, I mean, yeah, this is definitely a one of in Prophecy, I feel like, but man, it was just like, it's only one, you know, and I mean, Priestess is up there too right now. Priestess is kind of, Priestess is everywhere, to be honest with you. I mean, I, I've seen it going like 50 plus, but, uh, you know, I also see it going for 45 on eBay. So, you know, I, I don't know. Uh, that that card obviously is a little more difficult to get. Uh, World of Prophecy is going to get an unlimited print in a matter of a couple weeks uh, in, you know, the Judgment of Light Monster Box or whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, yeah, it's going to come unlimited. It's going to get, you know, it's going to be more widely available. Um, it's still sitting around 18 to 20 right now, but uh, just thought that I'd lead off with that. Um, XYZ Encore, I felt that this card was sleeping for a long time. I was really unsure why it was, like, a $6 card, um, but it definitely went up a little bit now. Uh, it's seeing some more play, I think after Toronto, people realized, okay, this is actually, you know, this can be used in more than just Evil Swarms, and, you know, Evil Swarms already just pretty much get the finger, so, uh, you know, they already have enough problems as is, um, but Encore is more of a problem for them, and among other various decks, so, that thing... It's going up a little bit. Okay, now, Dragon Rulers. Oh, good lord. Okay, um, Super Card of Consonants. Anybody want to pay $12 for a fucking super rare piece of cardboard? Anybody? Anybody? No, I'm kidding. You can get the common for, like, a dollar, and, uh, you know, the, the but the Super's going for, like, 12 to 15 I was really, like, really, you know, so. Um, Sacred Sword of Seven Stars, yeah, this thing. Um... Pretty much just became a necessity in Dragon Rollers, and you know, oh, they're not five dollars anymore. So that's that. Um, sorry, Mermel Abysteus. Um, I don't know. I mean, Mermels have been obviously they did very well. Um, they multiple people brought a new approach to the deck uh, at Toronto, and you know this thing, this thing's rolling. I don't know, like fifteen, twelve, fifteen right now. Uh, so. Yeah, I mean, look out. I mean, this thing also, like, I mean, you can use this in other decks, obviously. Um, it, it's an easy drop for a 7 if you're in a water deck or sort. Uh, so, but, I mean, obviously the main use is Mermels. Uh, you need 3. And, I mean, Cosmic Blazer, it's a pack you definitely don't see very much of anymore. Orient Dragon, another another, uh, another Dragon Lord plant type of deal. Um, yeah, if you had Debris... You know, and you don't have Card Trooper, and I mean, you could target Mexi, bring it back, and go into Orion. I mean, it's a play. Um, definitely just a one of in your extra deck. Uh, how often you'll make the card is, um, I mean, it's pretty rare, I guess. Unless you have a Synchro. I mean, I, I really, I mean, Desperate Times definitely call for Desperate Measures, but uh, this is definitely one that's just kind of chilling there in the extra deck. But um, yeah, he he definitely spiked. I mean, he's he's going for like 25 plus right now. Black Rose Dragon. Um, once again, Dragon Roller Plants, uh, fantastic card, um, definitely, I feel like it's definitely a two of in the extra deck, um, you run two Debris Dragon, you run other things, you can make this very easily, you have lots of plants, you can use a second ability, um, if you, you know, play it, play it right, um, you can get it off, uh, and it's also pretty devastating, really, um, but a fantastic card, I kind of wish I had a second, I only have one Ghost Rare that I used, um, I traded all my others, so, Definitely another, something I'm looking to pick up, uh, probably within my next trade binder, is going to be one more of these. Um, and finally, last but not least, we're going to talk about Lava Chain, uh, simply for Infernities. Um, I mean, it's an all-around great card. I mean, it's a fantastic card. It does a lot. Uh, it helps multiple decks. Um, you know, it's got two main purposes, which is which is great. Um, I feel like Digesto Emerald kind of got the short short stick with the with the print <laughs> having lava chain and digesto in the same pack but uh these are the cards we're going to talk about i talked about um these are definitely some cards that are pretty hot at the moment uh so you know if you're looking to you know if 
you're looking to trade with people, um, these are definitely some cards that I would recommend you pick up. So that is that. Hopefully it was pretty brief. I see I went over five minutes, so not so brief. But uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this. If you enjoy some, if you guys would like to hear maybe something more along the lines of this, like something maybe monthly, talk about some cards that are just kind of you know pretty hot right now. Uh, you know, leave a comment, like, comment, and subscribe, and uh, take care, guys.